This video was brought to you by AmericanAquariumProducts.com. Thanks for watching Aquarium Tech today. Today I wanted to try to do a short little video, uh, hopefully short, on basically how this stuff works. Um, I'm not sure how many brands and whatnot are out of this stuff currently, but essentially what this is supposed to be is a background adhesive uh, for uh, fish tanks. And basically the allure of this is that you don't have to have the tape on the side and uh, maybe I'll show some of that here in the video. Maybe I'll do like a microphone voiceover or whatever. I'll have to work on my editing skills. Uh, but anyways, I have it uh, and we're going to start in here too because uh, I got some stuff going on outside in the main living uh, areas. So uh, I might have to do a voiceover for that. But anyways basically what this is supposed to do is as you can see on the picture is when you put the background on your tank it's supposed to brighten it up because essentially the background is actually going to be pushed uh, be due to this glue right up against the tank and I guess this glue is supposed to be a thin clear uh, layer type stuff I've never actually used this before um, a lot of times I don't even use backgrounds but uh, for those of you that have used backgrounds, and yes, I do have, in fact, there's a tank or like literally right in front of us that has a background on it. But uh, basically, you know, it, first off, you don't have to deal with the tape. If you can see the sides of the tape, everybody knows the tape's ugly, and especially after years, it gets disgusting. Um, but on top of that, if you've ever taken your background that you've taped on and press up again, press it up on the glass, especially while the light's on, it, you'll literally see this. The, the, you know where your hand is that you're pressing the, uh, on the background it'll literally turn to this lighter shade than this uh, it definitely makes a difference I've seen I noticed this a long time ago uh, but it's been you know it, it wasn't I guess until a few years ago or you know that they actually came out with something for that uh, problem or issue I guess uh, but a lot of times you know if I've had my tank against just a pain uh, like a plain blue or white wall or something but uh, where this specific tank is going to be, uh, there's a wallpaper and it's ugly, so I'm putting a background on it. But uh, So essentially, I'm going to do a video on this, see how it works, and we're going to work on the installation process. Go ahead and put down a piece of newspaper. I'm not going to do this right here. Like I said, I'll probably end up doing a voiceover, but in case I don't hear. Uh, essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to lay some newspaper out, and this is just probably so you don't make a mess or anything like that. And you'll want to do this on a flat surface, not where I'm doing it, which is on a bed here. And you'll spread it out more than this, obviously. Uh, so that's what the newspaper's for. Spread your background out across this. Now, obviously, you're going to want to measure and cut it first. Now, like I said, this is not the right size for the tank I have. Wow, this background's actually pretty nice. Wow. Props to Petco. Wow, this is like an HD picture. Woo! Actually pretty nice, I have to say. Well, maybe that's why it was expensive props. I'll have to figure out which side I want to use too because it's kind of different than I thought it was going to look. But anyways, so obviously you'll have to cut it exactly to the way you want your tank. This, unlike taping it where it doesn't have to be the right side exactly right, with this, when you're using, because it's going to be glued exactly to your tank, it's going to have to be exactly the right size. And in fact, you're probably going to have to cut this off too. Uh, and at least that's what I'm going to do. And I stink at cutting, so I'm definitely going to have to get a ruler or tape measure out here. So I'm probably going to go ahead and cut this, uh, take care of this, and uh, and we'll get back to this. But basically, you cut it, and then you'll obviously glue, spread the glue on like this. And then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and start pasting it to uh, the back of your tank. Now... Uh, another, what you'll also have to do is make sure the back of your tank is clean. Uh, you know, go over with some Windex. And in fact, what I had to do because my tank was new, uh, I actually had to get out a razor blade here. And there was some silicone. Take a razor blade, and that's how you'll get the silicone off. Because there were some silic silicone scraps on the outside of mine, which was kind of weird. Uh, but not that weird. But, uh, and I had to ra use the razor blade to get them off. And then, like I said, go over it with Windex. Make sure it's all clean because obviously that's going to be a big deal when you're using something like this. And then you'll want something like this because what you're going to have to do is press on the back and get all the bubbles out. Now, ideally, you would want uh, like what you see those guys use for window tinting or even when people are 
uh, uh, you know, like they're scraping off extra grout when they're doing tile. You'll want something like that. I might have something like that against around the house, but this is what I had right here just for the purpose of this video. And this might actually work out pretty good. Uh, or, you know, even some type of hard squeegee. You don't want, like, a rubber one. It's got to be a hard one. Uh, because what you're going to be doing is scraping out all the air bubbles. You need it to lie flat against the tank, or you might as well have taped it. Because this is what this is all about, is appearance, and you're going to have to be a perfectionist. I'm guessing when you're using this. So, I'm not sure this will be my first time. And I'm definitely going to be a perfectionist about it. I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. And uh, maybe if I find anything interesting when I'm using it, I'll do a voiceover. Uh, and then I'll, we'll also do a comparison between uh, a tank that doesn't use this and the tank I'm putting it on. So, And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to try to help you guys uh, go ahead and uh, get this uh, installed, do a little voiceover, work on my editing skills here. Anyways, at this point, um, you should have your background cut out exactly to your tank. Um, as you can see, I kind of messed up. I left the bottom white part on there. Um, if you make a mistake and get the wrong size, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, background, that white isn't going to be a big deal because you're probably going to put your gravel in your tank anyways. I'd suggest doing this definitely before you have water in. Uh, you can have your gravel in prior, but definitely before you have water because you're probably you might have to move your tank around a little bit. Um, but anyway, so at this point it should be cut. Um, you, you can see the newspaper I have under there. Um, I'd suggest having weights on the sides and the corners to hold it down. You can see I have a couple weights on the sides there. And... Uh, you would definitely shake the bottle up before you use it and as you can see go ahead and spread it on the edges uh, on around the outside the, the edges and the corners are going to be the most important parts uh, to that stick basically most important parts to have glue on for sure um, but obviously you'll need a lot on the inside too and it's going to spread around you'll see this it's not even like glue it's almost like an oil or something and uh, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing for the install. I, I mean, well, when you get to the re review part, you'll see. I, I definitely. Mm. But uh, anyway, so you just spread it around at this point and uh, go ahead and move on and get ready to put it on your tank. Be warned, it can be a little messy. I would just suggest using your hands. You can use a, a cloth or something if you want, but you're just going to end up using a whole lot more glue to do it with. Alright, sorry guys with the install. I ended up skipping a step, at least on camera. Um, I I should have had at least two people, you know, help me, or, or should have done this with at least two people, maybe three. Um, and basically was putting it onto the tank. At this point, I had already gotten a lot of bubbles out. And uh, what I was actually doing there is I was, I already had most of it on there. And because I, I did it by myself, I made such a mess that there was glue on the uh, aquarium background so I was wiping it off with a paper towel getting the bubbles out and what I'm doing now is I've got uh, it pretty much set up I'm just cutting some scraps off off that end because that end will not stay down and you'll see that in a minute but uh, I was also short on time it was late and you know I was trying to I was trying to get the tank set up and whatnot so uh, but, uh, yeah, you'll see that I had a hard time getting that side down. I ended up having to put tape there and hoping it'll dry. But, like I said, it's kind of like an oil. It almost doesn't even dry. So we'll get to to that in the uh, review. But, uh, so, that, that's what I would suggest doing is uh, leaving a little bit extra if you have to because your measurements and your cutting is probably never going to be perfect. So um, it's better to just to leave a little extra because you can always cut it off. But once you cut too short, you got to pretty much start all over again. So, and anyways, what you see me doing here is trying to get that side stuck down. I ended up, like I said, you ended up using tape. But uh, I'm just, you know, working on my final process of getting bubbles out. I didn't have my tool that I wanted, so I ended up just using a credit card, uh, which works. You can do that; it works fine. Uh, well, not necessarily a credit card, but a card of that nature. Um, usually the way you want to do it, um, it's okay if you're just trying to get a select few bubbles out to do it differently. But when you're starting, uh, 
and you still got a long ways to go, what you should do is you should go left to right, top to bottom. See, see, like I just went left to right, then I would go a row down and do it again. That's how, what you generally want to do when you're, you know, first getting it on there and you're first doing your bubble uh, get out. But obviously, you might have some areas that are worse than others, and you know, you might have to work it a little bit differently. But that's generally what you want to do: is left to right, top to bottom, uh, for getting the bubbles out there. Um, and everybody has a credit card too. That's the other good thing about using it. Everybody sees that I can. Uh, use it so uh, anyways I think that's about it for the install guys uh, I think we're about ready to uh, go on to the review hope that helps